This is a tutorial for opening .gif GIF animations and Photoshop CS4. If you have the 64-bit version of Photoshop, you would most likely be defaulting to the 64-bit version of the program. You cannot open animated GIF files using that which is something not everybody would know. I did not know myself until I found out from a different source that um, uh, I needed to use the 32-bit version. So, open the 32-bit version, which you can find through the start bar, and picking the one that's not under the header 64-bit. I already have it open right there. And go File, Import, video frames to errors. Now, if you, no matter where you are, you will not be able to see the uh, GIF files, animated or otherwise. So, you will need to use a wild card and end it with GIF. So, asterisk, GIF, and all the GIF files in that directory will be visible. So, let's just pick this cute one. If you are familiar with image ready, you will find the very same options that you found before, including from beginning to end, selected range only, or limited to every X frames. And of course, you will want make frame animation. And there it works. It's running very slowly because I'm encoding at the moment, so don't mind that. However, I'm not certain it applies to all GIF animations, but you should keep in mind that you might not be able to uh, maintain transparencies with the GIF animations. For example, this was originally transparent, but as you can see it is no longer transparent. But um, hopefully this won't be too much of a problem for you. Well. You will, of course, in order to save it as animation, you need to save for web and devices and um, make sure you enable the looping animation. See, looping once, forever, or whatever. And if file size is a bit of an issue, you can lower the color quality. Of course, the image quality will be reduced significantly if you do that but sometimes it isn't necessary in order to get it to fit say as an avatar on a website those usually have a restriction of a hundred kilobytes max this would work just fine in there assuming it was the right um, right uh, resolution so those of you familiar with image ready will have to do a bit of a workaround to get it to work in CS4 but there are some added advantages for example filters are fully available whereas in image ready you are restricted to only certain filters this is basically the entire Photoshop program plus the ability to animate in it it requires a bit of work around, but once you've done that, it's great. There, you can of course import regular videos, assuming that they're within the um, compressions that Photoshop can handle. So, uncompressed video is recommended. Um, you will need a program such as Virtual Dub to decompress a file. Please note that a decompressed file is a lot larger than a compressed file, usually. Um, a, a video file that was originally, say, 150 megabytes can go well over a gig when uncompressed. So let's see an, advantage, uh, an example of it. Let's see. Uh, uh, edit videos, captures. No, there's none there. Okay, here. There's one. Same options. 
so you can import it. That was an uncompressed file. And it works just fine, just the same as image writing. So there you have it. That is how you open .gif animations in Photoshop preserving the animation. Using Photoshop CS4 and Vista 62-bit. 62-bit version of, of Photoshop running installed on your computer you will need to use the 32-bit version that's the only thing you need to keep in mind otherwise it's the same as image ready but with extra filters available well sorry for droning on and on I realize I made a bit of a mess of things stumbled somewhat um, I thank you for your patience and hopefully you all found this useful goodbye then